do you like being the and I'm just rolling like slight and that puts a torque so instead of having my fingers and doing this with my fingers <laughs> now now I have that stone that is doing the work for me then I can also take and pull one side and now I am tweaking one side of the head and now that so I want it like like picked up a little higher on this side so and pulled up is that off your spinous process yes okay so again I'm just lifting a little bit that feel okay? That mm, number? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's a four. Okay. It's a little bit more number there. Yeah, I'll get here. Right now. All right. How long can you hold that? <laughs> long time. <laughs> it's really not any. It's not really work for me. Is that kind of right. doing the same thing as the toxic foot release? Yes. It's not having to put all that strain on the It is. And you, so yeah. you've had clients say, hey, can you hold that longer? Can you hold that longer? Can you hold that longer? And you're like, oh, no, uh, I can't. <laughs> Shaking. Yeah. 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 Can you do that again? Yeah, twice as we looked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you oh, can just sit. Nice. So you can just sit and hold. It's a nice, nice warm stone. It's easy. I'm not. I mean, my hands are just lifting, and it's not. It's not anything like when you're hand when you have your hands under there and you're like oh. trying to pull. Or you just adjust a little bit and the head flops, flops over, over the like, side. Sorry. Or they want they want to help you. You yeah. know, they're like, oh yeah, more pressure on this side. Eye to their neck. And here you want to make sure that you're staying off that that clavicle because you don't want to be grinding. You want to watch out for that chromium process as well. And when you're coming up the site, but this can be really nice. Rolling the stone. And that's very little oil on there. Yes. And you're getting some good flash. Cause I, yes, because I want it to be less slippery. Mm -hmm. I want it to like kind of grab. So it's pulling the fascia and stretching. Because then that's going to also feel more intense for your client, too, especially if they like that deep tissue feel. Mm -hmm. um, too much pressure, more then use more oil and be. And so if you're not getting enough pressure, use less oil, and that helps you. Okay. Will feel much deeper for them. Right, okay. Because you'll be addressing the fascial level more than just kind of skating over the top of it. Mm -hmm. Do you just stick them in the fridge or will you? You can. Okay. Yeah, if you wanted to use them as cold, you might be able to just leave them out. Okay. So if you want to see what it feels like, we'll do that today. We'll just give you a room temperature one. Sure. And to see, and then I'll put one in the fridge too so you can see the difference. In the winter, just leave them in the car. Yeah. yeah. Or, in the, <laughs> or in your windowsill. Yeah. Okay. Has that broad feeling to it opportunity to work them in side leg. So I'm just crisscross or V or sorry, zigzag. Now the compressions that I'm putting down, I'm going to put a compression down and now I'm going to have you flex through the foot. Point the toes, release. And then make nice. Relax. We even go up the side here. Pressure down on that IT and have them lift and lower and lift and lower. So you kind of have a pit, some pin and stretch compression element that is helpful as opposed to using a forearm. So instead of like using my hands and doing like a push down and over, kind of hitting that sacrum, now I can take either this stone, this one, 
and temperature okay? Okay. And coming down to sit on that iliac crest and rocking back and forth. Again, being mindful of those floating ribs, picking up over the top, iliac crest, and now into that glute. So pressing down, teeter-totter, pressing in, turn. Gonna get over the top of that hip, teeter totter. This is especially amazing for you're doing a side laying pregnancy, and you just have you just have the cool stone. You don't even have to have it hot over the sheet because they're gonna like that cool feeling. Because now the belly has, you know, when you're laying flat on your back versus this side, now everything shifts, right? So that leaves this area a little bit more access. So you can add that stone in there. You might need a smaller one. Um, it feels good. I think while I was on my back, it felt like there was deeper work happening, but part of the yeah, this is more part of the reason is because I'm not pushing the table isn't pushing back. Right. So I, when I'm pushing, it's kind of a void, you know, behind her. Right. There's give. There's give. There's that's give. what I mean. But if you wanted to just kind of heat that up, you could also turn your stone and add. Is that okay? Is that too pokey? Nope, that's fine. So then I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing that tissue and going, kind of scraping it away from the fossa of that iliac bone. Their, um, their hip. So now you have the ability to address the pec area. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing, I'm putting pressure down over the pec. I'm being mindful of the clavicle not to bump it. So I don't want, so the clavicle is, is running right through here. I don't want to be bashing a stone into it. I just want to be laying a stone underneath. Okay, so here I can push down. Is that okay? Very much so. So it's like going towards the table, but then also going to, towards the table and towards her toes. So I'm pulling down from that clavicle. your larger baton, larger in to the delt, and then have them do, so what they're gonna do, yeah, exactly. So you're gonna have them bend their arm, they're gonna lift this way, and then this way. So there's two different call to motion that you can take them through. So here I'm pinning in the deltoid. I'm gonna go from the top here. There we go, okay, so now you come up, and now, Turn. It's like a bike signal, right? You're riding your bike and come back down and down. Good. 
that I like to make nice. And again, lift and bike signal, yep. Okay, right from the, yep, yeah, perfect. Good, and down, and again, lift, and down, perfect. Make nice, back, and pull down, and teeter-totter, Zigzag. This is a perfect position for to get the upper neck here. Through here. So here we can put sure. side of the neck. I kind of already showed you that. I, I love that. That's why it, one of my favorites. So I'm holding that baton and just the neck. You would turn the other side and repeat so that we could get the side, the hip, everything that we did. And that is the whole. Just so you know, pressure on that is perfect. perfect. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go any